Joined the wild bush horses. He was worth a thousand pound. So all the cracks had gathered to the fray. There was Harrison who made his pile when Pardon won the cup. The old man with his hair as white as snow. And Clancy of the Overflow came down to lend a hand. No better horseman ever held the reins. And one was there, a stripling on a small and weedy beast. He was something like a racehorse undersized with a touch of Timor pony, three parts thoroughbred at least. But still so slight and weedy, one would doubt his power to stay. And the old man said, that horse will never do for a long and tiring gallop. Lad, you'd better stop away. Those hills are far too rough for such as you. So he waited, sad and wistful. Only Clancy stood his friend. I think we ought to let him come, he said. I warrant he'll be with us when he's wanted at the end. For both his horse and he are mountain bred. And the snowy river riders on the mountains make their home Where the river runs those giant hills between I've seen full many horsemen since I first commenced to roam But nowhere yet such horsemen have I seen So he went, they found the horses by the big mimosa clump They raced away towards the mountain's brow And the old man gave his orders Boys, go at them from the jump No use to try for fancy riding now And Clancy, you must wheel them Try and wheel them to the right Ride boldly, lad, and never fear the spills For never yet was rider that could keep the mob in sight If once they gained the shelter of those hills And upward, ever upward, the wild horses held their way Where mountain ash and courage on grew wide And the old man muttered fiercely, we may bid the mob good day. No man could hold them down the other side. When they reached the mountain summit, even Clancy took a pull. It well might make the boldest hold their breath. The wild hop scrub grew thickly, and the hidden ground was full of wombat holes, and any slip was death. But the man from Snowy River let the pony have his head, and he swung his stock whip round and gave a cheer, and he raced him down the mountain like a torrent down its bed while the others stood and watched in very fear. He sent the flintstones flying, but the pony kept his feet. He cleared the fallen timber in his stride, and the man from Snowy River never shifted in his seat. It was grand to see that mountain horseman ride. Through the stringy barks and saplings on the rough and broken ground, down the hillside at a racing pace he went, and he never drew the bridle till he landed safe and sound at the bottom of that terrible descent. He was right among the horses as they climbed the farther hill And the watchers on the mountain, standing mute, saw him ply the stock whip fierce He was right among them still as he raced across the clearing in pursuit Then they lost him for a moment where two mountain gullies met in the ranges But a final glimpse reveals on a dim and distant hillside The wild horses racing yet with the man from Snowy River at their heels and he ran them single-handed till their sides were white with foam. He followed like a bloodhound on their track till they halted, cowed and beaten. Then he turned their heads for home and alone and unassisted brought them back. But his hardy mountain pony, he could scarcely raise a trot. He was blood from hip to shoulder from the spur. But his pluck was still undaunted and his courage fiery hot. For never yet was mountain horse a cur. And down by Kosciuszko, where the pine-clad ridges raise their torn and rugged battlements on high, where the air is clear as crystal and the white stars fairly blaze at midnight in the cold and frosty sky, and where around the overflow the reed beds sweep and sway to the breezes and the rolling plains are wide. The man from Snowy River is a household word today. And the stockmen tell the story of his ride. 